low OC. I love this guitar. What do we have here? On the top, red cedar wood. So this is an all solid piece of red cedar wood. I love it. It's very, it's very kind of mellow. It has like a nice kind of, it just, it just looks good. What about the sides? Side is mahogany. And the back? Also mahogany. So we have a solid piece of mahogany on the back, a solid piece on the side, and a solid piece on the top. You got it. Which is really what makes it so great as sustaining. And just the volume is one thing that I've noticed right off the bat with this guitar. Volume, projection is all on point, crisp and clean. Great for like a lot of different styles. Let's have a look at the electronics. We have the LR Bags Anthem. Very cool, so there are just kind of controls built in right here, and then the cable actually goes in through the, uh, the strap plug in the right. back. I think it's pretty essential. Uh, one thing that I've noticed being an acoustic player for a long time, if I'm playing live, switching from, you know, maybe something like a into more of like a is, is a tough transition because you lose a lot of volume a lot of time when you're just playing with your fingers if you don't have like acrylics or nails or anything. I'm not about to, to start growing my nails out. I just can't, I just can't do it, people. It's not, it's not in my soul. Spanish flamenco player. It's, uh, I'm, not, I'm, not that, I'm not ready for that kind of commitment. <laughs> but it is, it is an issue. Yeah. So the nice thing about having the volume from this combination of woods is I can self-monitor better than I can with like, I would say like a regular guitar, but also it's really great to have this pickup system uh, because it's like the real deal in here. What do you think of the neck? Plays great, I can get around really easily. Uh, it's a little bit wider, that was the first thing that I noticed, but also I, at the same time, I feel like I have more room in the actual palm of my hand to kind of reach around and access the frets. There's a reason for that. It's an asymmetric shaped neck. We call it the Ergo A. So basically it's kind of built for the contour of my hand, not necessarily just like a straight kind of circle. Cause I mean, this isn't symmetrical, right? Eh, every, every hand is like a snowflake. They're all different. Eh? <laughs> and that's why, but this, but this seems to fit just super well. Mm -hmm. So again, even though it is a little bit of a wider spot here, it just is super playable and comfortable. So the nut is actually one three quarters inch. And that's something I definitely noticed because what that does, it actually allows you more room for between the string courses. So like my style, what I do finger style, I do a lot of like, like Travis picking style stuff. And you'll notice that maybe like classical nylon string guitars have a, a wider neck because it's built just for classical finger style players. But for someone like me that goes back and forth between these, I think that's actually kind of like the perfect nut width because I still don't feel cramped when I'm trying to get in there, but it still doesn't feel weird when I'm playing like a bar chord because the spacing isn't so severe. So I think that's like a really great nut width for this. All right, so we have a red cedar top. We have a neck with a one and three quarters inch nut width. We have these very sharp looking inlays and binding and an LR Bags Anthem electric pickup system. That's all right, just left one important factor out. We have a solid cedar top, solid mahogany sight, and a solid mahogany back, which makes it as all solid as possible. Super solid. All right, well, I've got the flow, but I'm gonna need some rhythm. Shake it, please. Two, three, four. 